Have you ever caught yourself wondering if your female friend could ever see you as more than just a friend? Can you turn her on within minutes? It's a question that millions of guys ask themselves every day, because let's face it, the friend zone feels like a black hole. You're giving her time, attention and support, but deep down, you want more. Here's the truth. There's a way to flip the script without awkward confessions or risky grand gestures. And no, it doesn't involve waiting for some magical moment to come along. This is a science-backed, proven method that can ignite chemistry between you and your female friend in as little as two minutes. 7. Know the Science of Attraction Before we dive into the techniques, it's crucial to understand why they work. Men and women are biologically different when it comes to attraction. Men, for example, are driven primarily by testosterone. This hormone is what fuels your sex drive and makes you feel intense attraction at a moment's notice. Think about it. A quick glance at someone you find attractive and you're already imagining the possibilities. Testosterone creates that instant raw desire. Women, however, are driven by a different primary hormone, oxytocin. It is often called the bonding hormone, and it plays a central role in how women experience connection and attraction. It's the hormone that floods a woman's brain during deeply emotional moments like breastfeeding, hugging, or even during intimate conversations. But here's the interesting twist. When oxytocin levels rise in a woman, her testosterone levels also increase. And when her testosterone rises, she starts to experience desire on a deeper, more physical level, much like a man does. This is the secret to creating attraction. By triggering oxytocin naturally, you're essentially activating the chemical process that transforms how she perceives you. You're no longer just a comforting presence. You're someone she's drawn to in a way she can't quite explain. And the best part is you can trigger this hormonal shift through specific, subtle actions that feel completely normal to her. And we're going to explain these actions to help you turn your female friend easily in a few minutes. 6. Use the power of natural touch. Touch is one of the most powerful tools for creating attraction, but it's also one of the most misunderstood. When done right, even a simple touch is enough to ignite a flood of oxytocin in her brain, creating a bond that goes beyond friendship. The key lies in targeting areas of her body with high concentrations of nerve endings, like her wrist, neck, the inside of her elbow, her thighs and her upper arm. These spots are especially sensitive to touch and trigger a physiological response that deepens her emotional connection to you. But here's the catch. You need to time it perfectly. If your touch feels awkward, forced, or overly calculated with your female friend, it won't have the desired effect. Instead, aim for casual, natural touches that blend seamlessly into your interactions. For example, if you're sharing a laugh over a joke, lightly pat her shoulder or brush her arm. These small gestures seem insignificant, but they send a powerful subconscious signal of closeness and familiarity to your female friend. Research shows that physical touch increases trust and comfort between two people, and it's exactly the catalyst for you to turn that platonic relationship into a romantic one. The beauty of touch is that it works under the radar. She won't even realize her perception of you is changing, but she'll start feeling it. 5. Master Incidental Touches Incidental touches are subtle, almost imperceptible gestures that will completely transform how your female friend feels about you. Incidental touch feels spontaneous and not planned. It's the difference between a confident move and an awkward grab. The key here is to integrate these touches into your natural body language whenever you're with her so they feel effortless and nonchalant. For example, if you two are sitting together and having a conversation, use your hands to gesture naturally. As you emphasize a point, let your hand lightly graze her arm or tap her shoulder. 
This isn't about grabbing or lingering, but about brief, light contact that feels like an extension of your personality. A well-placed touch during a funny moment, like when you're both laughing, works wonders for building a connection. One of the best things about incidental touches is that they're incredibly disarming. They don't raise her defenses because they feel casual and expected. Yet, beneath the surface, they're triggering a cascade of oxytocin, subtly rewiring how she perceives you. Over time, these small touches add up, creating a sense of closeness that feels natural but undeniable. Four, compliment her jewelry. If she wears a necklace, bracelet, or even rings, they're conversation starters and perfect opportunities for you to initiate a physical connection. Women often wear jewelry that has sentimental value or that they've carefully chosen to complement their outfits. When you notice and compliment these items, you show that you're observant and appreciate the effort she's put into her appearance. But here's where the real magic happens. When you lightly touch the jewelry as part of your compliment. For example, if she's wearing a bracelet, you can say, wow, this is really beautiful. Where did you get it? As you speak, gently place your fingertips on the bracelet or lightly touch her wrist. This touch should feel casual and natural, not deliberate or lingering. If she's wearing a necklace, lean in slightly to get a closer look and comment, I've never seen anything like this. It's stunning. Is there a story behind it? This action brings you into her personal space in a way that feels intentional, but not invasive. No need to use these exact sentences. You can come up with your own even better according to the situation. What if she isn't wearing jewelry? No problem. You can still create playful moments by noticing something unique about her appearance, like her skin tone or texture. Hold your hand up to hers and say, why is your skin so much softer than mine? That's unfair. Playful light-hearted comments combined with brief touches create an oxytocin surge while keeping the interaction fun and engaging. Three, create sexual chemistry. There is a way that is the most underrated yet powerful tools for creating chemistry. It's intimate, direct, and completely disarming when done correctly. And this is eye contact. Most people make eye contact during conversations, but there's a difference between casual and magnetic eye contact. To build attraction, you need to take it a step further. When you're speaking to your female friend, focus on one pupil instead of darting your eyes back and forth. This singular focus creates a sense of intensity that feels both calming and engaging. Avoid staring too long. Instead, maintain a natural rhythm, occasionally breaking eye contact to avoid making her uncomfortable. Pair this with subtle changes in your voice. Speak slower, elongate your vowels, and slightly deepen your tone. This combination creates a hypnotic effect that draws her in without her even realizing it. But the real thing is what you're thinking while making eye contact. Imagine her in a scenario that excites you, like pulling her closer, kissing her, or any intimate connection between the two of you. This inner visualization changes your facial expression and energy, giving your gaze a hint of playful confidence and intrigue. Psychologists call this emotional mirroring. When she feels the energy you project through your eyes and tone, her emotions subconsciously start to align with yours. This is how you shift a casual conversation into something more charged and intimate, all without saying a single word about how you feel. Two, add playful teasing. Teasing is one of the most effective ways to create attraction because it introduces a playful dynamic that breaks the monotony of everyday conversation. It shows that you're confident enough to poke fun at her in a light-hearted way while also keeping the interaction fun and engaging. But teasing isn't about being mean or sarcastic. It's about finding small quirks or habits to playfully exaggerate. 
For instance, if she mentions she's terrible at cooking, you can respond with a smirk, Oh great, remind me never to eat anything you make. Or if she's known for being competitive, you might say, I bet I could beat you at anything, but I'd hate to see you cry. The key is to deliver these lines with a playful tone and a grin that makes it clear you're joking. Teasing works so well because it creates tension, the good kind that keeps her on her toes and makes her want to engage with you more. It also flips the script by making her chase your approval, even in a playful way. This dynamic is incredibly attractive because it subtly shifts the balance of power in your favor. Teasing also opens the door for physicality and sexual desires. If she playfully swats your arm in response or laughs while leaning closer to you, she's already starting to associate you with fun, flirtation and excitement. And that's exactly the energy you want to create. 1. Own your energy. Your energy and confidence mean how you make others feel in your presence, not how you walk, talk or look. Women are incredibly attuned to energy, and the way you carry yourself is absolutely telling about your self-assurance. When you exude calm, playful confidence, she feels safe and intrigued, which makes her more likely to open up to you emotionally and physically. Confidence also means being unapologetic about your intentions. If you're interested in her as more than a friend, you don't need to declare it outright. But your actions and body language should reflect that you're comfortable with attraction. For example, don't shy away from leaning in during conversations, maintaining strong eye contact or laughing freely. These subtle cues show that you're grounded in who you are and unafraid of expressing your interest. But what if you're nervous? Here's a simple trick. Focus on her, not yourself. Instead of worrying about how you're coming across, tune into her reactions. Is she smiling, leaning closer, playing with her hair? These cues will boost your confidence because they show you're already making an impact.